and Steve is asking uh, about toe hold breaking or finishing mechanics. In particular, he said, Braulo Estima and John have different mechanics. Which do you prefer? Mechanics on a toe hold uh, are similar to mechanics on an outside field. In the case, it's pretty much the same motion. The advantages of a toe hold is that it comes in much faster. So if we're in a shootout, for example, one person's going for an outside heel hold, one person's going for a toe hold. The person going for a toe hold will put more pressure faster than the person uh, going for the heel hold. Perfect example of this is uh, Yuri Samoas versus uh, John Blank uh, in the last combat jiu-jitsu. John Blank was attacking an outside heel hook. Yuri was attacking a toe hold, both from a ring or both from a mutual ashigurami. And because Yuri attacked the toe hold first, it forced John Blank to roll, and then he ended up finishing with the knee bar. So if we're in a shootout and Gary goes for a heel hook, and I go for a toe hold, I'll get more pressure than he will faster. The disadvantages of the toe hold are that I'm finishing with just my arms, whereas when I lock a heel hook, you have your whole body to actually break your partner. So the advantages of toe holds are that you can get pressure faster. The disadvantages is that it's not as, it's not as strong mechanically as outside heel finishes. finishes. Okay? But when we're actually looking to finish toe holds, what we want first is to grab the long end of our lever uh, on our partner's toes like so. Now I want to take my uh, left arm and reach elbow deep around my partner's Achilles by the long end of the lever like so. The further you can get up towards your own hand, the tighter the lock will be. Now I take my two wrists and I roll them forward. Now, most people emphasize pushing your partner's toes down to the butt. I can push his toes all the way down to his butt and I feel no pressure. What I need is a shearing force, where I push the toes down to the butt as I raise my left elbow up to the ceiling. So I have uh, two directions. One is toes going down, and two is heel coming up. Combined with the fact that my ashigrami controls his hips through a back heel and a pinch of the knees. But now, even with very little motion, when I take his toes down to his butt and I start pulling the heel up to the ceiling, without even bringing his toes down to his butt like you typically see, we get incredibly strong breaks. If I just push his toes down to his butt, he feels nothing. But the second I start taking his toes to his butt and his heel to his chin, we get incredibly strong breaks with this multi-directions of the toes coming down and the heel coming up.